this is Kareli with the Ballet Folklorico Company and in this tutorial video you will be learning the three basic steps necessary when dancing the region of Jalisco. The first step we will be learning today is carretilla. Bend your knee slightly and do two flats with each foot. You have to have a slight spring in order to go faster so make sure you don't lock your knees. Once you feel comfortable doing the step in place, make sure you practice it across the floor. You want to have a slight bounce, Jalisco isn't as grounded as other regions. And make sure that your feet are flat on the ground at all times. Alright dancers, it's time for a recap. That was the carretilla step. Where you do two flats with each foot. Okay, so now we're moving on to Zapateado Jalisciense, also known as Zapateado de Tres, because it has three sounds. You have flat, heel, flat, flat, heel, flat, flat, heel, flat. When you do the step, you want to make sure that you put the heel in front of the other foot. And make sure that your knees are slightly bent so that you have a slight spring. You want to pick up your toe as much as possible so that it's very obvious that you are doing a heel, not just a flat. So it does not look like three flats from afar. Here's what the step looks like when you travel across the floor. Alrighty, so it's time for a recap. The step that we just went over is called the zapateado, also known as zapateado de tres, because of its three sounds. And there's three parts to it. There's a flat, heel in the front, and then a flat on the back. Flat, heel, flat. All right, last but not least, we have el cepillado, also known as el taconeado, depending on who teaches it to you. And in this step, you have six parts. You have a stomp, heel, ball, twist, Stomp, heel, ball, out. So six sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stomp, heel, ball, stomp, heel, ball. Here you see Melissa twisting her knee in and then stopping with a ball and then twisting her knee out. When doing this, it creates a more clear sound. If you're having trouble doing it, with a twist in and then out, you can go ahead and do it forward, like so. When you do it forward, it's called el caballito. Once you get the hang of doing the step in place, you want to start moving across the floor, like so. And make sure you practice going both ways, go left and right. And once again, it's time for the recap. This step is called el cepillado, also known as el taconeado. There are six parts to this step. Stop, scuff, ball in, and then stomp, scuff, ball out. And make sure you cross the leg that scuffs in front of the one that keeps the beat. And that's it, my friends. You're all done with this tutorial. I hope that you found it very valuable. If you did and you want to check out my other blog posts, please visit me at folkloricocompany.com. See you next time. See you next time.